finally getting this thing put together. This is a little wobbly, but tweezers are very helpful to pull this through. This is J. Kim Makes WDT. I put one other one together already and trying to get the needles in this other one. Really enjoying it, so I wanted a second one for my blue bar. I've gotten three in. Um, depending on your 3D printer or whoever made it, you might have to take something pointy, carve out a little bit of the holes to make sure that they come through. And then make sure you're pulling your needles through all these holes in each one of the rings to make sure that they aren't, there isn't any plastic stuck through. And then once you get to this step, he has a YouTube that you can watch to step you through all these little tricks. Let's take your tweezers, it helps get them through those little holes. Hope you're seeing this. Grab it on each level, pull it through, and then make sure it goes through the big hole. I think I did that. Oh, gotta go down. See, that's why tweezers are helpful, to get it right in there. And just push it through. It takes a little patience, but once you get it in, everything's sturdy. And it looks really cool. So thanks, J. Kim Makes. I'm going to enjoy using these on all my coffee prep pucks. <laughs> Let's see, what one did I leave off on? This one right here. It. without bending the needle because you can bend these acupuncture needles if you're not careful so just be gentle with the tweezers and the lining of the hole don't force it back out a little if you have to see like that one back but way too far out you can only push it so far in Grab it. There it is. Hold on to that ring because that ring tends to be a little loose for me. Just depends on your printer. Plus I was carving out and I might have carved out too much on that one so it made it loose. But for the most part they go in. Just got to give them a little help. There they go. I'll upload this to my YouTube if somebody's wondering how I did it. There's nine total. One goes in the center, but you do that before you finish putting your rings on. Pretty self-explanatory on his YouTube, and I'll link it on my video as well so that people can go to his if they're seeing how it gets put together from the beginning. But I just wanted to show how the needles all go together at the very end. And we got two more to go. It's just a really cool looking tool. And of course I had to do it in some blue silk PLA. Which might have affected the size a little bit. But it's still manageable. If I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Hope this is on screen without my hand being in the way. So tricky to angle everything when you're videoing. But like I said, I will link his video 
if anybody has questions on this little tool. And one more. Actually, two more. This one and one more. <laughs> we'll get there, guys. Hope I'm in the screen here. Just taking my tweezers and poking it through those holes. One, two, fairly simple. There we go. And one more. And then I will show the finished product. Thanks for being patient. But that's what some of these projects take. <laughs> One more little push. There we go. There it is, guys. Alright, and it's real sturdy now that I've got it all in there. Um, there's no stand for this that I know of. I mean, you could stand it. I've got two of them, but from his other makes that I had, these work nice. If you want to cut your needles a little shorter, they would sit better, but for the most part, I'm not sure you're seeing what I'm seeing here. Let's go down a little. But I can use my little stand. Let's go back here. There you go. You could sh cut the needle shorter and it would sit down further in this little area. Let's scooch over in the white. See that gap there? If you were to cut your needle shorter, but they seem a little long, but I haven't had any issues, and I don't mind it standing there. So I might need to print me another one of these stands for this other one. So that I have a stand for each, on each of my coffee bars. So those are the two makes from J. Kim Makes. Thanks, guys. Enjoy some coffee.